Hello, so in this video we are going to demonstrate some concepts about uh, loops by looking for a word in a list. So we have a list of words, uh, knights, we are the knights who say knee, and a word to find. And what we want to know is the position at which uh, it is in the list, which is going to be saved in this variable here called uh, index of words, which at the moment we are set. Uh, we set to minus 1. The reason we set it to minus 1 at the moment is because minus 1 is not a valid position. Positions should be 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, and uh, so forth. So we know that if this stays at minus 1 at the end of, of our search, that we didn't find the word. So the way to do it is uh, we have a for loop which has a variable i that goes in the range of this uh, length and remember uh, let's uh, execute this line and uh, now let's look at the range so range uh, are objects so you'll have to pass them as a list so if we if we execute just this we won't see what's in there okay just says uh, range from 0 to 8 so when we say the length uh, of the list to search so it has eight things on it but if you want to see what's in the range you can just force it to be a list and if you do that you will see what's in there so in the range um, from 0 to 8 we look from 0 to 7 actually those are the indices we look so then we just access each of the words in the list uh, and compare them to the word we want to find. And if we succeed, then we say that the word is located at i, and then we just print that information. So let's run it, see what's happened. So the word knights is located in index 4. So there is knights here at the beginning in index 0, but then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and we find it again. So, if we wanted to get the first uh, occurrence of knights, we want to we can use the keyword break in here. So that means that uh, after getting into this if we will break the loop. So even if we are at the beginning uh, of the range, even if we are at zero, when we break, we start looping, we stop looping, and we just go through here. So let's see how that works. So the word nice is located in index 0. So before, even though we found this nice, the loop kept going till the end. Actually, let's let's print this. Let's print checking word Let's let's print the word we are checking. So now we just check the word nights and then we stop. If we didn't have this break here, we check all of them and we just finish. Okay. So now let's do something else. Let's try and find the last uh, word in the loop. So for that, we are going to loop backwards, okay? So if you remember, range has three parameters. The first one, uh, let's try here. The first one is the starting value, let's say one. Second one is the end value, let's say five. And the third one is the step, okay? So if we do one, five, one, uh, sorry, let's put a list on this. we get from 1 to 5, but 5 is not included. But the step can be negative. So if we move things around, now we are going backwards. So we start in 5 and we end in 2. And the reason that these two are different is because the first thing is included, the second thing it's not. Okay, so if we want to uh, search this li list backwards remember this was 8 so we need to start from 7 
We want to end in zero, but if we put a zero there, we'll stop in one. So we put a minus one in there, and we put step minus one. Okay, so let's see what happens. Now we start looking backwards. Okay, so we start knee, say who, and get we get nice, and we stop because there is a break here. Okay, so finally let's try and uh, look for a word that is not there. So if we run the program like this, uh, we look at the whole list. Actually, let's just remove that for the moment. And we say the word hello is located in minus one. Okay, this doesn't make much sense. But the good thing is that because we know minus one is not a valid position, now we have a way to identify that the word hello is not in there. So we can just go ahead and make an if statement here. So we say if the index of word is less than zero, then we print the word whatever it was. was not there and if that doesn't happen so we put an else statement then we print it so now we're saying the word hello was not there but if we put uh, something else then we actually uh, go to this part and uh, we find the word 